Hey guys, this is Corey Russell here, and it's been a while since we've been together, but I wanted to give you some news of what's going on with us. Uh, we've got a book coming out, we're titling it Prayer, and it's going to be out by one thing uh, here at our big event here in Kansas City at the end of the year. I'm really excited about it, and we've been working so hard on just finishing it up these last, uh, uh, this week and next week, so we're in a real grind right now. And it has just so ignited me again about calling this uh, generation to the place of prayer. God is sounding an alarm in the earth, and as I'm writing this book and going through it, it's just inside of me like no other time. And and I just wanted to take some podcasts just to talk about kind of the layout of this book. Again, it's going to be out by uh, 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 one thing at the end of the year. We've also got a, a Glory Within uh, curriculum, a video series that's going to be coming out. I videoed eight 25-minute uh, sessions a few weeks ago, and it's going to be out with a curriculum study guide. And that's going to also be out by one thing, so I'm really excited about the things that are coming out. But I wanted just to talk, start today, and then we're just going to build some podcasts based on the book called Prayer. And uh, I can't find a better word to sum up what, what this book is about. It's the call to prayer. You know, when I, I, I kind of start the book off like this, I, I kind of start it with uh, Mike Bickle, our director here in Kansas City, his encounter in Cairo, Egypt in 1982. Many of you are familiar with the story, but Mike was in an around-the-world tour visiting the poorest cities of the earth to connect with God's heart for the poor. And, and when he was in Cairo, he was in a hotel room just praying one night, and the fear of the Lord filled the room, and the presence of God was so thick on him he couldn't even move, and his spirit began to tremble. And the Lord spoke a phrase to him, and he says, I will, and he felt the weight of I will, change the understanding and expression of Christianity in the whole earth in one generation. And, and that's a powerful and that's a packed phrase. I mean, I will change the understanding and expression of Christianity in the whole earth in one generation. And in this encounter, the Lord began to talk to him about several heart standards. Not the only heart standards, but heart standards that have been minimized and must be restored in this hour. The Lord began to give him the acronym, began to give him I for intercession, and H for holiness, and O for offerings, and P for prophetic. And Mike's in the encounter saying, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. And he says, you've only said yes, but you haven't done it. He says, many have said yes, but have not done it. And then he says, beware, lest the brethren steal this from your heart. And then he says, I'm inviting you to be a part of a work that will touch the ends of the earth. And it was in this encounter right there that really gave the most definition to Mike's life and ministry and everything else. And I just want to say to you, here we are 30 years later. And I want to say to you right now, there is a change of the understanding and expression of Christianity in the earth. The understanding includes the way that the law, so the unbeliever, sees the church. For the most part, unbelievers see the church as mostly irrelevant, mostly boring, and mostly having nothing to do with their lives. But that's going to change. There's also coming a change of the expression. that The way that we function and the way that the church operates is going to see a dramatic shift. I believe the way that we understand church today is going to look a lot different in a decade. And this is only going to increase because God is the sovereign God, the Genesis 1 God, who is going to seek to it to change things before His Son's return. He's doing it, and I believe with all my heart that at the heart of this change is the call to corporate prayer. Is the call to prayer, individual prayer and corporate prayer. And I believe this is the seedbed that's going to give birth to this change of the understanding and expression of Christianity. I mean, we're seeing it explode right now all across the earth I mean, love it every day on the Global Day of Prayer, there are 220 nations filling stadiums all over the world that are gathering together to cry out for another Pentecost to hit the globe. We're seeing so many 24-7 prayer ministries birthed. We're seeing so many missions organizations that are understanding that for the great harvest, for the, the great commission to be fulfilled, it is going to take day and night prayer. We're seeing so many prayer ministries exploding. We're seeing so many churches begin to prioritize the ministry of prayer, beginning to fund prayer and staff prayer and prioritize prayer like no other time. It's an exciting time and it's just the tip of the iceberg. It's just the beginning and it's only going to increase over the next decades. And this is the hour that we're living in and I believe it's this change that's taking place that is going to culminate with the literal return of Jesus Christ back to the planet. That's where this prayer meeting is going. It's not just for a few more outpourings so we can have a good time. It is leading to the second coming of Jesus Christ. That's really that, that's kind of the main premise of the whole book. And that's what we're going to be talking about throughout this book and through these podcast series. is giving you a vision 
of the of the revelation of intercession from Genesis to Revelation and how God's going to do it. So I'm excited about going on this journey with you and, and I invite you to be a part of it. Bless you.